This is a valve repair video for the General Pump model MK and LK series. Before starting, you will need the Valve Removal and Installation Kit, F-Kit MKVLP, or F-Kit MKVHP, depending on the model. Refer to the MK or LK repair manual for additional information. The tools needed are a soft rubber mallet, a magnetized tool, a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, a 17 millimeter socket, a pick, a round head tool, a needle nose pliers, a standard flathead screwdriver, packing lubricant, an impact wrench with a 14 millimeter hex, a threaded rod with threaded bushing, a pusher tool, an outlet valve o-ring, and a slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Use the impact wrench with a 14 millimeter hex attached to loosen the 8 valve plate retaining bolt. Start by loosening the second bolt from the left on the top row. Then on the bottom row, loosen the second bolt from the right. Loosen the remaining bolts as shown. Loosening them in this order will help unseat the valve plate evenly. After all eight bolts are loosened, remove the valve plate. Thread the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter onto the valve plug. Tap the slide hammer upward to remove the valve plug. Remove the valve plug from the slide hammer. Remove the valve spring. Insert and thread the bushing into the lower drain port of the manifold. Insert the pusher tool and twist the threaded rod. This will push the pusher tool into the valve seat. Unthread and remove the pusher tool rod. Use the 17 millimeter socket to turn the threaded rod. This will push the valve stack out, allowing it to be removed. Use a pick to remove the metal washer ring and the O-ring. Thread the slide hammer into the outlet valve. Tap the slide hammer to remove the outlet valve. Use the pliers to remove the plastic spacer. Thread the slide hammer into the inlet valve. Tap the slide hammer to remove the inlet valve. Insert the magnetic tool to remove the pusher head tool. Use the pick to remove the O-ring and the backup ring. Unthread and remove the threaded rod and bushing from the manifold. With the valve now removed, use the flathead screwdriver to pry the cage from the valve seat. Inspect each component for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Reassemble the valve with a poppet to the seat, then the valve guide, the valve spring, and finally the valve cage. Lock the reassembled valve into place by tapping it lightly with a soft rubber mallet. Push the valve to test that the plastic valve guide is properly centered and moves freely through the hole of the valve cage. Insert the backup ring. Use the round head tool to fully seat the backup ring into the bottom of the manifold. Insert the O-ring. Use the round head tool to fully seat the O-ring into the bottom of the manifold. Thread the inlet valve to the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. 
apply packing lubricant to the outer surface of the valve seat. This will help the valve seat to slide more easily into the backup and O-rings. Seat the inlet valve into the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Install the plastic spacer, making sure it is fully seated. Thread the outlet valve onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Apply packing lubricant to the outer surface of the valve seat. Seat the outlet valve onto the manifold. Tap the slide hammer until the inlet valve is fully seated. Remove the slide hammer. Install the backup ring. Use the round head tool to help properly seat the backup ring. Install the O-ring. Use the round head tool to help properly seat the O-ring. Use the outlet valve O-ring tool and insert it into the manifold. Lightly tamp the O-ring tool with a soft rubber mallet until the O-ring is fully seated into position. Install the washer. and the spring. Thread the valve plug to the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Apply packing lubricant to the backup and O-ring on the valve plug. Insert the valve plug into the manifold. Use the slide hammer to gently pound the valve plug until it is fully seated. Remove the slide hammer. Position the valve plate back onto the manifold. Tighten by hand the inner four bolts first, then the outer bolts. Use a 3 8 inch ratchet with 14 millimeter hex to tighten the second bolt from the right on the top row. Then tighten the second bolt from the left on the bottom row. Alternate between these two bolts until both are snug. Doing so in this order will help ensure the valve plate is evenly installed. Tighten the remaining bolts as demonstrated. Doing so in this order will help ensure the valve plate is installed evenly. Finally, tighten all eight bolts with a torque wrench using the proper specs. Tighten the inner bolts first, then the outer bolts. Again, doing so in this order will help ensure a tight and proper fit.